Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to balance this equation where we have zinc and copper sulfate on the reactant side, copper and zinc sulfate on the product side. So to start with it, I am going to count the number of atoms on reactant side first. We have one zinc atom and I am going to consider SO4 as it is because it is the same on both reactant and product side. We have the same group. So I have one sulfate group on the reactant side and one copper atom on the reactant side. When we move forward and we count the number of atoms on the product side, we have one zinc atom, one SO4 group and one copper atom. So this equation is already balanced um, and you do, do not need to add any coefficients because it is balanced as it is. Sometimes people get confused uh, when they are not counting the numbers of atoms on both reactant and product side. So follow this practice of counting numbers of atoms on both reactant and product side to know if you really need to add coefficients to balance this equation. So this is it the equation is balanced and i hope this video helps you to understand this method for more such videos on lowest structure molecular geometry polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and and thank you for watching